We're back with another installment of three games in three minutes, one you might want to buy, one you might want to try, and one that just might make you cry. Joining me again is Darren Gladstone, senior editor for Games for Windows Magazine. Uh, Darren. One minute, one minute, I'm almost no, done with this. No, Darren, we're starting. <sighs> oh, Fine. You, can, all right, all right. Okay, so well, since you have the DS in hand, why don't we talk about the new DS crack? Okay, that would be Picross. Okay, so so very quickly, what is it and why is it crack? Okay, so starting on the most basic level, just imagine it starts off in the training like a five by five grid, and you have numbers along one side, numbers along the top, and you have to make the number basically gray out the boxes where the numbers match up logically. And once you do once you complete a grid, it ultimately forms a picture. You know, fruit, animals, whatever. And it, it's, it's, it starts off simple enough with these little, you know, this small little grid, and suddenly it grows to a 10 by 10 grid, then 15 by 15, and before you know it, you have to, you have to zoom in on these huge freaking boxes trying to figure out where the one dot is that you have to, that, that matches up logically. So Nintendo's done it again. Holy crap, have they done it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Picross is DS Crack. That's our buy. What's our what's our try this week? Okay, you, this week you got to try out uh, Threadspace Hyper Bowl. It's on. Um, so it's available through Steam actually. So if you haven't tried that out yet, it's an action tactical strategy game. It's it's a, it's kind of a weird mix, and it, it kind of makes your head hurt at first. So brace yourself for a learning curve. But once you get into it, it's pretty damn cool. So you you control a spaceship and a production facility that enhances that spaceship. Uh, and what you do is you arm up your ship and you can move it a finite amount of space before the engines need to recharge, and then you can fire off ballistic rockets, you know, lasers and such. But the cool part is, what you're doing is, as you're, you, you take a straight shot with something, but then you can alter the angle that it fires at. So let's say, for example, you have, you have a, a laser, you could turn it counterclockwise so it whips around an object. So I, mean, so I mean, there's a lot of cool things you could do with it. Okay, so that's our try. Now what's bringing the pain, man? What, what really hurts? All right, you know this is, this, is, this is like a gut punch to me, honestly. It'll, it'll make your dog cry, it's so bad. Wow. I was a huge fan of his Alien Syndrome back in the day. You know, 1987, came out in arcades, dropped many quarters. Came out on the consoles, played it, had a great time. Now, when I heard it was coming to the Wii, I'm like, okay, this is cool. They can, they can revitalize it, bring him back to, you know, you know, add something new to it. It's been, it's been a long time, right? It seems like they, they, they just, like, gave up. I, I, I plugged that thing in, and holy cow. It was, it was like, I was so... Crushed. Okay. What was the worst thing about it? What? What? Wow, really you know, it totally killed it. What totally killed it for you? So graphically, it looks like the PS1 threw up on my TV. So it, the graphics are way horrible. Next, you got the um, the gameplay itself. Okay. So it's obvious they were trying to go for some kind of mesh between like Smash TV, which I love, and Diablo, which I love. So basically, it took two games that are great and created a really mediocre one. So aces, good job. I had a real problem with it myself. So, trying to use this pin to illustrate, pretend it's the remote. So as you're twisting like this, you're changing the camera angle, and then you're aiming like that. So all of a sudden, I'm conducting an alien orchestra, just trying to like blow things away. And it, 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 it kind of worked, but at the same point, it was more. I found it was even more frustrating because it was kind of fidgety trying to get the, the controls down. Okay, that's it. The 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 pain for you this week. Alien Syndrome for the Wii, avoid it like the proverbial plague. The try is going to be Threadspace Hyperball for the PC, and the, the one you got to get, the new DS Crack Pick Cross. That'll do it for this week. We'll see you.